consider three friends a b and c who work at different speeds at differing speeds when the slowest two work together they take n days to finish a task when the quickest two work together they take m days to finish a task one of them if he worked alone would take thrice as much time as it would take when all three work together how much time would it take if all three work together a b and c let's say let's assume they take a b and c days they work at different speeds so a not equal to b not equal to c you want to assume a is the slowest or a will take the maximum time b comes next c comes next a takes a days b takes b days c takes c days a and b together would take n days b and c together will take m days okay. so i'm going to do this quite simply number of days amount of work done in one day okay. a takes a days b takes b days c takes c days in one day a will get 1 by a of the task done b will get 1 by b of the task done c will get 1 by c of the task done a and b together finish the task in n days or 1 by a plus 1 by b equals 1 by n b and c together finish it in m days 1 by b plus 1 by c equals 1 by m okay. we've got two equations somehow we can do something to get a b in terms of m and all of that but the critical piece of information in this question is this one one of them if he worked alone would take thrice as much time as it would take when all three work together all three working together this guy takes thrice as much time but think about this is there three units of this guy he would complete the task at the same time what does this tell us a very important piece of information one of them if we worked alone would take thrice as much time as it would take when all three work together is that one person a b or c Think about it. If it were A, A is the slowest. Then if A takes A days to do it, three times A, then if, he, if A, B and C work together and they do it in some time, three times A will take more than that. And so it cannot be thrice as much time as it would take. It cannot be C or the middle person is B. This, the one person that is being referred to here is the middle person or the it is the same idea as saying average of three quantities one bang in the middle it cannot be either extreme it is very similar to that right one of them work worked alone would take thrice as much time this cannot be the slowest guy this cannot be the quickest guy this has to be the guy in the middle so b takes thrice as much time as it would take when all three work together b takes b days or if all three work together it would take b by three days so somehow from this 1 by a plus 1 by b is 1 by n, 1 by b plus 1 by c is 1 by m. From this, we're trying to get b by 3. To somehow solve for b using these two equations. 1 by a plus 1 by b is 1 by m. 1 by b plus 1 by c is 1 by m. All three put together. 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c. All three put together they will finish in this is equal to 3 by b this is the other equation that we have 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c is equal to 3 by b and so it would take the the, the lone guy thrice as much time or all three putting put together would do it in one third of the time 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c is 3 by b from this we'll have to somehow get b by 3 from this right let's solve this let's simplify this this third equation is probably the best to work with so we know from here that 1 by a plus 1 by c is 3 by b minus 1 by b 2 by b let's call this as equation 1 call this equation 2 this is equation 3 equation 3 modified is this i'm going to call this also the equation 3. we somehow we know 1 by a plus 1 by c in terms of b so if we add these two we'll get something in terms of a and b so let's say 1 by a plus 2 by b plus 1 by c is 1 by n plus 1 by m and now let's call this down further 1 by a plus 1 by c is also 2 by b or 4 by b 
is 1 by n plus 1 by m or 4 by b equals m plus n by mn or b by 4 equals mn by m plus n. We need b by 3. So b equals 4 mn by m plus n. b by 3 would be 4 mn by 3 times. Wonderful question with the most critical piece of information. The best equation, the most important equation being this one. If we don't get this right, we are in trouble. 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C is 3 by B. The critical thing is the, 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 the guy working alone and he would take thrice as much time as all three put together. That is the middle guy. We to frame that equation. If you get that equation, you are through. through. If you get three equations, then you are through. Third equation is the most important. The first and second, anybody will try. If you have done two questions on pipes and systems, you can frame this equation and this. The, the, the part where you have to really apply yourself and figure out is this one. And once you do that, you are through. 4 by 8. Beautiful question. One of my favorite questions.